The banquet is on its way. Caster has summoned this Cthulhu monster. We cannot get inside because obviously there's a Cthulhu monster. The game plan is this. Rider and Saber will somehow distract the monster and we need to drag out the monster from within. And then Lancer, if he has a sight, he's going to use his gay dick move and he's going to snipe him. But I just feel like things would be a lot more easier if he would just remove the curse during this temporary alliance we have to take down Caster. Let's begin today's reaction. Japanese military? JSDF? Kill it before the giant of light shows up. What's the giant of light? Is that a reference to some kind of nuke? Like, giant of light is supposed to be some kind of nuke, a solution that they have for this monster, and that's what they're referring to? I don't know. Ooh. It doesn't matter, it'll just heal up. It's not gonna do anything. Bro, release the seal. I mean, if you've seen this horrific act happening and there is no divine retribution, I would also say that God is definitely with Ryonosuke right now in Caster. But hey, maybe the divine retribution is in the form of Saber, Lancer, and Rider. You never know. Rise. What kind of failure? Oh, Caster doing his thing? Right, it's like... This is supposed to be a battle of secrecy, and now there's a giant Cthulhu thing showing up, and even JSDF is kind of aware of it. So yeah, this is a a, a shame on the church, I guess, for overseeing overseeing this as a referee. A church is a fucking fraud. Solve it yourself. Tokimi did leave. Really? Gilgamesh has shown up? <laughs> I will cover. Well, yeah, I will handle the cover. Of course you will, dad. You're the shadiest fucking dad. Actually, no. Kiritsuku is also a dad. He's very shady too. But yes, classic church people. Cover it up. Do what you're good at. Oh. It doesn't matter if you do this shit, it's just gonna keep growing. Why don't you do something, Gilgamesh? Open your fucking gates of Bubilon right now. Tokiomi, finally out. What? What are they on? Are they on some sort of plane? They're on some sort of hovercraft, right? I don't know exactly what. Wait, wait, what, do we. Yeah, 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 this thing. They have, the Tosakas have like a special like jet plane thing? It's probably invisible too, right? Like what the hell? Is this the UFO table? Like the UFO table? UFO table? Your gardens. Please, my king. <laughs> Well, shit, we shouldn't have used the word garden. Uh, what, we sh what should we all say? Oh, yo, your, your beautiful kingdom is, is in danger. Please, save your kingdom. Brother, brother, you don't have to fixate on the word garden. We wanted to use like a cool noun to kind of show that you're beneath, you know, you're, you're, you're above everyone else. But goddamn. That's right. They're shitty gardeners. Will he? I don't know. Oh. Gilgamesh. That's what I'm talking about. One Babylon. One gate. Is that it? It just heals back up. Like, does Gilgamesh not have an attack that just, like, prevents you from healing? Like, no debuffs are like that? 
actually, all he has to do is spam this shit and then just hit where Caster is in there. Because Caster is in the body somewhere. And if we just hit him and the book along with it by chance, then like, it's over. So it doesn't matter for regening, just spam this shit. <laughs> what? You pussing out, King? <laughs> what should I say at this point? Huh. So the king of heroes, swords and spears, was not enough to defeat this sea creature. I see. I may have misjudged your powers, king of heroes. But if I say that, it would provoke him to maybe stick around, but I think we would die after. I'm not sure. <laughs> Command spell time? That's right. One attack. Do we have some? Do we have a nuke? Oh! Sword of Rupture. So, Gilgamesh does have this, like, nuke, this boss slaying move. Okay. What? Yeah. My bad, my liege. Jesus. <laughs> use command spell Gilgamesh use Ea to beat this sea creature no but if we do that again yeah the future of this so for Tokiomi it's like the mage association's reputation is in the line because the casuals cannot be seeing this shit I'm sure we can just say like oh we're just filming for Godzilla and this is just special effects you're seeing in the water but Gilgamesh he just gonna pussy out hmm that's right, for him to get it back. Because this, this king, bro, doesn't care about your plans. Planes. JSDF? <laughs> UFO, <laughs> UFO table, bro. You foldable UFO table, the, the Tosaka secret technique, UFO tables discovered. Or. Is this Gilgamesh's? Did Gilgamesh put, like, is this Gilgamesh's spaceship? Or is this a Tosaka's UFO? But now I think about it, oh, it's Gilgamesh's. What the f? I thought he was from, like, the ancient times. Did he had airships? <laughs> like, what? The Mesopotamian times, they had technology, that's great. All right, fuck it. <laughs> I don't know what to say, man. Uh oh, Kobayashi might die. Dead. Dead. You idiot. Ooh. Why is it so slimy and. The shape of this thing, what the hell is happening here? Oh. Rip Kobayashi. Well, Kobayashi, I only knew you for like 20 seconds. It is what it is. You had your warnings. You went in there on your own. Your own pride is your downfall. Yeah. Caster. The soundtrack is sick. Is this because of Kobayashi? The eyes didn't appear before until it absorbed a human in an airplane. So... Kobayashi's up? So what the hell's going on? Huh? Ogi, get out of there. Ogi dead too. You idiot. Nah, bro. Berserker. What the fuck did he show? Okay. When anything Berserker touches turns to Noble Phantasm, Berserker will now occupy his airplane and fuck shit up. I'm down. <laughs> now that I think about it, in FGO, the four star, this Shadow Berserker guy, he did have a Gatling guns. I think his Noble Phantasm was literally. Gatling gun airplane ship, right? So thematically, 
This jet plane he's taking over. Is that what that reference is? Because he has his own like shot he flies on, I think. Now, I wonder what would happen if Berserker did this shit to whatever caster sea monster creature it is. Because whatever Berserker touches, it just turns black and red and it becomes his own, right? It like mutates and it's like a noble phantasm. So, could he do the same thing with caster's fish monster thing? Oh. Karia versus Tokiomi. Well, Karia is probably super mad that, you know, Tokiomi gave Sakura away, so maybe this could be a good part for his revenge against. But if he kills Tokiomi, then Aoi doesn't have a husband anymore. And, and, and then that's when. Karia shows up saying, <laughs> I can be the dad that stepped up, but he only has a month left to live, so I don't think that's going to happen. I think Aoi is about to lose his hu her husband and her best friend, if Karia is her best friend. So Yo, is he just dropping off? I I can he fly? I don't know how this shit works. He's jumping off the UFO. Kire. Everyone is showing up. Kiritsugu. What's Kiritsugu planning? That's the wrong target, man. What the? <laughs> I thought that he was going to help us for a second. Of course, at the end, at the end of the day, they're, they're just going for Gilgamesh and Tokiomi. Even higher than the king now. The fuck? Does he have vacuum? He just sucked the weapons back up. And now, remember, anything he touches, this is how he countered Gilgamesh in the early part of the Fate Zero, right? Anything he touches turns into a noble phantasm, so all the weaponry that he just throws out at us, just more weapons for us. I don't know what happened there, honestly. Doesn't look like he really caught the weapons. It just did, did he catch the weapons? I don't know. It just went flying away. <laughs> UFO table. <laughs> Yo, the rope. Okay, the missile also has auto aim. I don't know how the fuck that was possible. The missile missed. Then he somehow turned it. I don't know what Berserker is doing. Fuck it. Damn, the UFO table's fast. He's having fun? I love how these two idiots are literally wasting time just fighting each other. When like, we're trying to fucking save like the city against the sea creature. It's just like everyone's ego, everyone's different goals are just like overlapping and no one's fucking working out bro. Like, imagine how fast we could solve this if we all work together, but... If that was the case, it'd be kind of boring. To be honest, this is way more fun that we're just like doing ace combat fight, like fighting right now in Sky. All right, Karia Tokiomi. Where's, where's Tokiomi at? <gasps> so he does hover. Duel for Sakura. What about the Tosakas? Tosaka <laughs> Tokiomi. Yeah, how much did my dad offer for your daughter, bro? Yes, the entire reason for him is here. Which daughter? Rin? Or Sakura? Because, like, Sakura, you think it's a bright future? Does she not, does, does he not know about the motto, what they do? Like, if he's completely ignorant of what the Matos does, which I highly doubt, because these are coveted fucking ancient magic families. They've existed for centuries, right? You really don't know anything about what Zoken would do to Sakura? <laughs> what is this, the one-child policy? Only one may inherit the family secrets. Why? What is this re restrictions from the Mage Association? Why? 
so him preventing Sakura from falling to the rabble, but rather falling to a bunch of magic worms is her bright future? What the hell is the Society of Magicians, bro? That's weird. My wife's womb was too bountiful is a very weird statement. <laughs> I don't think about that sounds really weird. Okay. is God damn that bountiful womb, man. I mean, when you place it like that, damn. This Kadia frame is demented. But like... I guess... Based on his logic of what the Mage Association says and the culture behind people, and you know, just only one child can adopt the secrets and other turns to rabble, and him offloading Sakura to a different family to prevent that, in hindsight, it sounds good. But, you know, what Sakura is going through, I think that falling to rabble in the Tosaka family is a way more brighter future than what Sakura has to suffer in the Mato family. Like, he just only thinks about magic, that's it. Like, all he cares about is reaching the height of magic. In his mind, this is still the objective correct solution. The bright future, it only- and Sakura will probably become pretty strong, right? If the warm treatment continues with the Mato secrets, I don't know exactly how that shit works, but... Yeah, it should probably be bountiful of magic, but at what cost, right? But it doesn't matter because that is still a better future than Sakura not having any potential with magic because of second child here. Huh. Yeah, magic is everything to him. Blessing from heaven, bro. What the hell? That's right. At the end of the day, his only objective in life, it seems like, is to reach the root. So, at, as you know, it's for the cause of greater understanding of magic. So, it is what it is. That's ruthless. The mage's pride. Sakura. Aoi is here too in spirit, bro. Damn. I hope Karia stays true to his philosophy. Fuck it. I don't care. Even if Tos whatever Tokyo is saying right now, I still don't agree with it. I still think that a future where you don't find a root and Sakura having a normal life is way better than her going through the warm treatment just for a potential to find a root or something. Fuck that. Twisted mage culture. For the greater good. I'd say you're also insane. I'd say all the magicians are insane. I think that we've learned something through Vate Zero. From the beginning too. Especially when Waver like manipulated the memories of the grandparents. Like mages I think are all trash. They there hasn't been a single maze that seemed like they are reasonably good people. Like Einsburn, Matos, Tosakas, they're all just fucking trash. All they do is pursue to the greater good of magic power and everything else is simply a sacrifice that needs to be made. Kiritsuku is right, man. Need to... <laughs> Kiri is also right, man. Mage killers. Need to kill all of them. Damn. That's what Aoi said too. The worms. Dude, Gilgamesh's jet plane is so sick. Holy shit. The space fight out of nowhere. Not a space fight, but a sky fight. Okay, okay. Missiles deflected. Where's the worms coming from? What the hell? I thought these worms were something that he puked out. What the hell? Is, is Zoken around? Well, like, 
you need more power, kid. Here's some more worms. And he just like, <laughs> come on, go, go to him. <laughs> But if you kill him, then Tosaka Rin grows up without a father, and Aoi without a husband, and she's already gonna lose you. It's just, there's no happy ending. There really isn't. True, that's still on him. Forgive. Okire. Mm, Mage's pride, lack of it. Here's, here comes the gem magic. Oh, the worms are. What the hell? The worms hatching? They're like molting. Are they evolving? Right, his entire thing is like flame element, but like gem magician or something, right? So like this is the magic stone thing, and then fire. Oh, whoa, whoa! Mad dog. <laughs> the worms have hatched. They evolved. They're flying worm monster things now. Kitty's still here. Oh, what the hell? I thought these were like just weapons, but it looks like they're like mana blades. Okay. <laughs> Everyone else, the pedestrian, just staring at this thing. What the fuck is going on? I'm surprised they're this close to it. Like, why are you just sitting, like, standing here, just watching this? I get the fuck out of here immediately. <gasps> no! Riders, cow! <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Not looking good, bro. This plan is not working. Let's go! I heard a gunfire! I heard a gunfire! <gasps> Sniped! Maya? Let's go! Maya? Let's go! Where's the wound? They're hiding it! The stomach? Stomach, stomach, stomach. Oh shit. It's your own blood. <laughs> his reaction to his own blood. It's so pretty. End him, let's go. It was in front of you this entire time, or rather, it was inside this entire time. The thing he was searching for, the pretty color of his own blood, it was within him. So it's supposed to be like a very ironic or it's like a sad death where he just went out murdering all these children and women to seek something, seek an entertainment, but at the end of the day, it was always within him. Bang. Am I supposed to feel sorry? I'm not gonna feel bad for this guy. I don't think blood and guts can talk. He needs to end them. Clean. Double tap. Kiritsugu. So optimal. So fucking good. Everyone else is doing their own bullshit. Doing a little airplane fighting. Fucking talking about <laughs> ages fucking pride. <laughs> all that shit. Kiri just fucking stalking. Kiritsugu man is always just all business. Target eliminated. Now, once a master dies, what, a, what happens to the servant? I'm not sure how that works. Does Caster just disappear? It feels kind of anticlimactic if he were to. Is Caster gonna go berserk now out of his sorrow for Ryunosuke's death? Most likely, but like... Without the Master's mana, 
supplementing caster to manifest himself. How does that work? Hello? It's gone. Yosuke, waga master yo. Toki ni Poor caster. Go shinpai naku. Uh oh. Kono jiru dore. Oh no. Anata to no yakusoku wa hatashi. Oh no no. I'm going to finally show you what cool really means. Oh no. His book is glowing. Yosuke o tamuke o. Sakura no ku. How the fuck did they make this catchphrase actually so good to the point where I'm kind of rooting for him? What the hell? Caster was like re avenging his master. In the same line, the cool thing that we got baited into from the slice of life moments. God damn it. Who's the next target? Immortal. Well, it's regenerating you. <laughs> Does Kiritsuko have access to nukes? Like, can he just drop a fucking nuke here? Ah, uh, by eating and sustaining, right? It's become self sufficient, right? So, like, Caster will remain intact to this world if it starts feeding. <laughs> Oh no. One shot. Everyone's saying one shot. Who has that capability? The saber has it, but she sealed though. Fortify structures. I don't exactly know what Saber's noble phantasm is, but in the game, it's just this big giant golden sword slash, right? So, Gilgamesh has one. Ea. Saber has one. I think Gay Dick is a fucking fraudulent one because it requires the person to come out, right? So, again, we need like. Not an anti-person or an army, like we need an anti-fucking fortified structure. But Saber's sealed, I doubt she can use it. <laughs> Snipe Solaui. Where's that red-haired girl at? Kiritsugu? Snipe Solaui? Assassinate her? Remove Lancer from the game? <laughs> <laughs> Unseal Saber, and then we take out Caster. I think that's the answer. Oh shit, he's taunting their chivalry. Oh, Kiritsugu is about to do something heinous. Oh shit! No, that's it! That's today's episode. Meon River Battle, man. Oh my god. God, things are fucking heating up. So what's actually happening? All out battle in the river as Caster has manifested this crazy Cthulhu-like monster. But everyone else is doing their own little trivial battles. Gilgamesh and Berserker, they're just flying around having fun. Rider, Saber, and Lancer, we can't really do much against the regeneration. We're pretty fraudulent there. Kadia Tokiomi. Now this scene was very interesting. With this additional context, the law of the Mage Association where only one child can inherit the secrets and the other being rabble. And the rabble being someone with non-magic. Tosaka Tokiomi would prefer a fucked up Sakura from the Mato stuff than a Sakura that is no magic and just lives in blissful ignorance. Because to him, the pursuit of magic and to reach the root is everything. So with that perspective, it does make sense to the point where he even says, like, Karia, your willingness to betray your family and run away and giving us this opportunity to send, you know, Sakura off, it's a blessing in disguise. Like, I get that, but I still say fuck you. It is such a twisted, twisted society. I don't think that this is the way that I would want to go to, and I still am on Karia's side and freeing Sakura, but it's just like, damn, what do we do? We kill Tokiomi. Rin literally does not have a father then. We've seen that Slice of Life episode, right? The episode where Rin freed the kids and and, and, and Tokyo is an actually good dad to Rin. It's just this maid society in this culture is so twisted that to me everything seems so messed up. But hey, maybe Karia can do something. I'm not sure. And remember, Hide is also here just chilling. He's just waiting and biding his time. The Berserker and Gilgamesh Archer fight scenes in the sky. The animations are fucking sick. The UFO table is UFO tabling. 
And Ryunosuke getting sniped, man. This, this is kind of heartfelt. Ryunosuke dying and Caster saying, I will, you know, bring your wish to come true. I will show you what cool really is. It's just like, damn, I'm kind of... It's so weird how these two villains are some people that I can feel some sort of like remorse or some sort of, I don't know, sadness because of the slice of life moments. That's the danger, man. The moment you get to see more slice of life cute moments between just serial killers, the more you can maybe like empathize with them. But Kiritsuku is the target. And now, Saber has one. Kiritsuku is saying, now I want to show the chivalry they're so proud of. I don't know what, what he's going to do. Is he going to snipe solo we get rid of the Lancer, and then Saber's fucking thing is ready to go? I have a feeling he's about to do something crazy. And that's it for me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.